Welcome back to the channel. So, what do you guys think of the new setup? Do you like it? I'm digging it. Got a key light, XLR audio, some lights behind me. If you haven't already, smash that like button for more content. All right, let's get back into finishing and installing my network rack that we started in the last video. We'll also be installing a unified Dream Machine Pro. This is an all-in-one device that will be my security gateway, network controller, router, and my network video recorder. I'll also be installing a Unify G4 doorbell that I'm excited about. I bought a 10 terabyte NVR hard drive that I'll be throwing in my dream machine for all my video storage. Now a 10 terabyte hard drive for a doorbell is overkill right now. However, I will be adding five more cameras in the future. Let's get back in the shop and continue phase one of my home network upgrade. I just finished up painting the backer piece on the network rack and I chose to take off the network rack uh, in order to paint that backer piece. It was just easier that way. I reinstalled all the original equipment that I had with this house, which is just a regular switch, my patch, got my Frontier router, and then my POEs for my access points. Today, we're gonna dive into the Ubiquity upgrade. We're gonna install the UDM Pro, also the G4 doorbell, and then uh, reconnect my access points because I've been having issues with those. The reason I chose to add this backer piece was because I was dealing with three different joists and my coax wires were coming over here and my cat six wires were coming over here. And that's why you notice I cut those two circles because I wanted to pull them right in the middle. Plus in my closet, I wanted the network rack to be right in the middle of my closet. So it just looks better this way. So let's go dive into this upgrade. All right, so we're back in the closet. We're installing the UDM Pro with my buddy Brandon that we reconnected with on Facebook recently. I didn't realize he was in the IT business and he reached out and said he would be willing to help with me. I'm gonna let Brandon speak about his companies real quick. Hey guys, this is Brandon with Fortress Lock Safe and Security. Today I'm helping Lance out with a little project he's got. Uh, we're going to be installing this UDM Pro, two access points, and a wireless doorbell. We'll show you how it all works. So one of the things I noticed and really liked about this product is just the packaging. They got the rubber feet here, rack mount screws, and everything. It's just a real clean look. Let's get it mounted. All right. Is, uh, tell the Frontier to stop being a router and just be a modem. This is gonna be our router, so I'm gonna go ahead and get logged into the Frontier. So one of the things that I'm really excited about with this system is my HOA has me using Frontier, which is old Verizon, and you have to use their router, or quote unquote, have to use their router to run your televisions and to have their modem, AKA router. We're basically gonna make their, or turn their router into a dummy bypass and I'll be able to manage my home, my, my own home network now. And here we go. It's ready for setup. Let's go ahead and download the Ubiquity app to the uh, iPhone. Two seconds to recognize that the UDM Pro just got installed. Let's go through here. How do you want to set it up? Uh, personal is fine. This is your account. All right, we are deploying the garage access point. So you can see here that uh, the living room access point is already going and it's got Lance's iMac on it. And uh, we did go ahead and run a speed test and we were getting just as high speeds as being plugged in. So like pretty close to 500 megabits per second upload and download. So that's a good sign right there. So Ubiquity recommends that you install a larger transformer to power their doorbell camera. I installed a 16 volt 30 amp transformer that I bought off Amazon. Now, all the components that I use in this video are listed down below. So this 
piece right here is a wedge kit. So you're not looking at a whole bunch of wall. One in there. Slide this puppy underneath. Snug. Yeah. Starting to power up already. Sweet. Go over to the server side in here in a minute. Oh, he's talking to us already. Look at that. Amazon. More packages, Holly. Ready for setup. Down and we'll just use the app to uh, from out here. Always use the app. If you know me by now, I have to plan for the future because it just makes me mad if I spend more money upgrading something down the road. So that's why I got 10 terabytes because I am going to add five more, four more cameras, five more cameras in the near future. So let's get this bad boy installed. Oh, do the honors. Look at him. How many of those have you opened in your life? Uh, I think the most is 60 in one day. Oh, wow. Uh, always go with Western Digital Purple if you're doing surveillance. Couple hard drive screws. Did they come? Did it come with one? Oh, it just snaps in. You don't uh, need to. There you go. Load her up. Let's see if we can initialize it here. Pretty much the last step of installing this uh, G4 doorbell by Ubiquity is to. Uh, Add these little uh, yeah, diodes or voltage droppers or whatever you want to call them. Basically what we're thinking is that there's too much voltage going to the doorbell and there's like a little bit of a hum. Boom, boom, boom. Thanks, Brandon. Bring the doorbell and see if this thing actually all right, so let me walk you through how my home network is set up after this upgrade. My internet service provider comes into my house via ethernet into their modem and router. Not too happy that I have to keep this right now. From their router going up this Cat6 wire, it powers my UDM Pro. My UDM Pro also has these temporary Cat6 wires that are uh, connecting to my PoE injectors for my Unify AC light access points. From the UDM Pro, it has a little patch panel up into my switch. This is an old Netgear uh, switch. I will be upgrading to the Unify PoE switch in phase two of this home network renovation. From my switch, it goes into my patch panel and my patch panel gets dispersed throughout my house. My iMac, my living room TV, other TVs around the house, my access points, and my cameras. After spending a couple hours on the phone with the Fios tech, we were unsuccessful at removing the Fios router. I'm not too happy about this since my dream machine is behind the Fios router. Now, I'm not giving up on removing the Fios router just yet. And I did buy a Mocha adapter that I'll be trying in the near future. I'm curious. If anyone out there has been successful removing their Fios router without losing the on-demand feature or the TV guide. I'd love to hear how you did this in the comments down below. Well, that's a wrap on phase one of my home network upgrade. Hit that subscribe button right now for phase two of my network upgrade, where I'll be adding a unified PoE switch, the G4 camera, as well as adding two Wi-Fi 6 access points. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.